Hello everybody, this is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the North American server. I am in my PZ-38NA. We are in Sand River Assault Defense, the second most prolific Hall of Fame map in spawn point. No artillery in this battle. One scout on the enemy team, two on ours. Good mix of tanks otherwise. Pretty even matchup if you look at it. Teams are almost exactly identical, just some minor differences. Someone spot from the middle ramp, and it's going to come down to does the enemy team kick me out of there or not? If they let me stay there, I'll probably be able to produce enough spotting damage and sniping on my own to lead our team to victory. If they kick me out, then I have to see what happens. Spot the Hellcat right away. He's far enough away I can take a shot at him if I want to. Hopefully somebody else shoots him. Shot underneath him. Now he's going to get close enough he'll see me here in a second. But he dies. And there's the next tank moving in, PZ-4H. Finally I get spotted I think by the uh, TD up on the middle ridge, so I back up. We have Chaffee down in the middle, there's the SU-85 taking him on and here goes a 3001 down the center of our side of the map, he's way overextended his play, he's gonna die over there I'm sure. turns his turret toward me for us so for a second so I back up now to start shooting him again. Oops shooting behind him. No arty so I don't have to worry about just sitting still and sniping when he's not pointed at me. Four to four. There goes M4 over on the West sideline. Oh, Enemy and the TD pulls hit. forward. No, I didn't. No idea why. Well, he's gonna let me shoot into the back of him. My heart's coming in here. Finally, somebody takes a shot at me. The TD dies. I'm gonna have to come up here and spot the church. We'll see where he's at. trying to creep up to see if I can get a shot at the KV-1S, but I can't do it without going too far up at the moment. So I'll pull over here to the left and see if I can get it down. There he is. The Churchill can sit up there if he wants to and wait for me to expose myself again. Ouch! Wow. So I guess it's time to go back up and expose the Churchill. There he is. He tries to shoot at me, but he's too slow. We're in a really good position right now. We're up two tanks, and we have possession of all the key parts of the map. At least for us defending. Six minutes to go. Plenty of time. They could definitely mount a comeback, but we're set up pretty well at the moment. hoping that Churchill takes some more damage. If he goes down, the game's over pretty much. So I have the tree between he and I. It still sees me. Whoops. T1 Heavy came up behind me. There he goes. 
Now we have a four tank lead and now we're getting into transitioning into mop up time. Here comes the T67. He's concentrating on the T1 right now so I'll pull up and see if I can hit him. I don't want to get too far exposed. Just the T67 and Cheeto left. 67's coming in, so I have to stay down here below this little terrace. He's going to come after me, I think. Maybe not. Whoa, he should have come right after me, but he didn't. He's full health. Maybe he's worried about what's behind me. A firefly. Yeah, he's going to move on. Awesome. But if I pull up, the Cheeto gets a shot at me, so I have to move back here behind the hill. And I'll be able to pull forward and hopefully get a shot at the back of the T-67. He's the only tank left. Ends up being a fairly easy victory for us. I take a shot and it gets there just a second too late. Mellow second too late. Somebody else gets the kill. There's the win. I got 1,037 damage, 0 kills. 22 of 39 shooting, 56%. 1,614 assisted damage with 6 spots. Lost 41,094 credits. And earned 1,766 XP. Survived the fight and got spotter and fire for effect mini medals. Gives me a battle score of 1,786, which is 20th place on the 38 NA list. And it really, I have to tell you, didn't feel like a Hall of Fame mission. I didn't think I was going to have that much XP at the end. But all those sniping shots added up, and I got just enough spotting damage to um, get a score that's high enough to qualify. When you play on this map, as a scout, and you're on defense, go up to this middle ridge. If you can maintain control of the middle ridge, you will almost always win the fight. Not always, but almost. Your win rate into those circumstances will be extremely high. It lets you snipe up here and spot up here. Let's you spot tanks moving along this hill and snipe back into this corner. And if anybody tries to run across here, it lets you spot them as well. And it's a perfect launching place for a delayed rush to go back if they have already or to come up here and go behind tanks once their defense, once their front line starts to break apart in the middle. You've seen a lot of films on this map, and they're all going to play out pretty much the same way on defense, and there's a reason for that. Because it's one of the best gigs going as a scout. You gotta love when you get this map. Go to the middle ramp. Pay attention to people trying to come in here down around you and come in behind you. And as long as you can handle that, people may be bull rushing you from the front here. Retreat down into here. Get some help. Beat them. Move back up. Keep spotting. If you can do that successfully, you're going to win the fight probably 95% of the time. So if you don't play it that way, if you play some other way, change. Do it the way you just saw and the way you've seen on six or seven or eight other Hall of Fame films. And you're going to be surprised at how easy it is to win the map when you go to that middle ridge and take control of the fight. Happy hunting.